Ready? After much consideration and after uh, watching our federal New Democratic Party leadership process unfold and watching the candidates emerge, I have now decided to join with many other Canadians, with many New Democrats in Saskatchewan, and if I may say, with many people in the New Democratic Party, in the New Democratic Party whom I deeply respect, in joining them in endorsing Brian Topp for leader of the New Democratic Party and Prime Minister of Canada. I like to support my friends. But when it comes to considering a candidate for the leadership of our national party, and it comes to endorsing someone to become the Prime Minister of Canada, friendship alone is not sufficient. I have many good friends in the New Democratic Party. I would not endorse all of them for leader or for the Prime Minister. It takes more than friendship. And so I'm endorsing this friend because, number one, Brian has a national experience to lead our party and to form a national government. We are going to become the government of Canada and make our vision reality. We are going to have to maintain the gains that we've made in the province of Quebec. We know that, and Brian can do that. Brian was born in Quebec. Brian grew up in Quebec. He was raised there. Brian got his start in politics in Quebec, building the New Democratic Party. Brian Topp is fluently bilingual. Brian knows how to win in Quebec. And that is an asset which is absolutely necessary in our next federal leader. That said, winning in Quebec is not enough to get the job done. <coughs> we must also win here in Saskatchewan, and we must win in constituencies across the nation. Brian Topp can do that too. It's a terrible tragedy that we lost Jack. There's no doubt about it. This is a leadership race that nobody wanted to be in. Uh, but he was very clear with us, find a way to carry on my work, and that's what everybody running in this race is trying to do, that's what I'm trying to do. And we know the challenge in front of us. Having come this far, now we need to take the conservative government on head on, and we need to provide a realistic, a credible alternative to the Harper government in the next election. And so we face the challenge of taking the best of what Jack Layton had to bring as federal leader, which is that wonderfully hopeful and optimistic approach to federal politics, deeply rooted in the principles and values of our party, which is something that I strongly feel we must hold on to. And we need to marry that to the fiscal responsibility, the economic literacy, the social progressivism of our best provincial governments. And of course, one of our best provincial governments was a provincial government that was led by Premier Calvert, a provincial government that was led by Premier Romano, who I had the honor to serve. And one of the things that I hope to do as leader of our party, if I'm elected, is to take the best of what Jack Layton had and the best of our work as provincial governments and marry them to offer the people of Canada a credible alternative to office.